In this video, we are going to continue with indices. You will find this on page 4 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at example 3. Solve the following equation. Now, the problem is that there is a positive. If there was a multiplication, no problem. But a positive, be careful. So what do I have to do? I'm going to make it a little bit bigger that you can see better. It's that splitting. So what do I do? I break this, and this is very important. This, I reverse this back. So before this, I'm actually taking this base and I give it to that index. And I create another base and I give it to that index. And that's what I did there. Because if you were having that, you would have said 3y plus 2 to get that. But, but for now, I, I reverse back and I get this. Now I take 3 to the power y out as a common factor. And then if I divide, it's 1. And if I divide, I get this. And then I simplify. 9 plus 1 is 10. I divide 10, I divide 10. And then I'm ending with 3. To, okay. So this will then be 3 to the power of 2. And then I can say y is equal to 2. So please remember this. Um, it's more that you will find this in AS level than you will find this in ordinary level. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number A as well as number B because there's a little bit another technique that I'm going to do in number B. But let's start with number A. So this was 2 and that was x plus 4. Okay. It's always good if you first stop the video and you first try to do it on your own and then you can continue the video. Okay, but for now I'm going to just start. So I'm going to split this negative. The problem is that negative. Okay, so I'm going to split. So it's 2x times 2, 4 minus 2x equals 1, 2, 0. So it's 2x and then it's 2 to the power of 4 if I divide and if I divide I get minus 1 and it's 1, 2, 0. So 2 to the power x and this is going to be 16 minus 1 which is going to be 15 and it's 1, 2, 0. And I divide by 15 I divide by 15 and I get 2x equals, and that is going to give me 8. Okay, then I move it up and I'm going to say 2 to the power x, remember 8 is 2 to the power of 3. So therefore, what is the value of x? The value of x will be equal to 3. That will be the answer. Okay, let's do, that was number A. That was number A. Let's do number B. Now, the reason why I gave you number B, because it's a bit different. My thinking is going to be a bit different here. Because it's n squared minus 4 minus 1, 2, 5 and n equals 0. Now, due to that squared and due to the fact that it's 0, I can say 5 to the power 0. But I think it's better if you just take this term over. Because if you take that term over, then it's going to become a positive. And now I can almost see it because I can make this 5 uh, because that's 5 to the power of 3. It's, it's 1 to 5. So it's n squared minus 4 equals 5 to the power 3 Multiply with that, it's 3n. And then my bases are the same. So basically, now I'm just going to say n squared minus 4 is equal to 3n. Oh, this is nice. This is going to be a quadratic trinomial. So n squared minus 3n minus 4 is equal to 0. Always if you have squared, take everything to one side and put it equal to 0. And now, 
make sure, especially in AS level, that you can factorize quadratic trinomials. Otherwise, go back. Because we are going to do it so many times. We're going to do it in trigonometry. We're going to do it in differentiation. So make sure you can do it. So in this case, I like to call, if you go back to my ordinary level videos, I like to call it group B because there's a negative. Let's, let's make it negative. Okay. But I'm still going to say I take this and this and I say 1 and 1 and 4 and 1. I must subtract because there's a negative. So I can say 4 minus 1. Oh, that's the 3. But the signs are different. And the biggest over cross product must get this middle term sign. And that's a negative. And then this is a positive, And this is going to be n, n. So I'm ending up with n minus 4. n plus 1 is equal to 0. So n minus 4 is equal to 0. Or n plus 1 is equal to 0. I just want to move this away. So therefore, n is equal to 4 or n is equal to negative 1. Okay, and that is going to be my final answer.